Look, I might be wearing a Christmas sweater, but my air conditioning is on, all right? This is just to be festive. It is a hot December in LA. It is officially December, December 1st to be exact. And that means that there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Nobody can argue with me. It is holiday season. In fact, I feel like I'm late to the game. I've been seeing so many festive videos, gift guides. The gift guides have been crushing it this year. I've added many a thing to my wish list from the gift guides I've been watching. And that's what I'm gonna share with you today. What's on my personal Christmas wish list? And as you see in the title, we are also doing a Christmas giveaway and I'm doing another Christmas giveaway in my next video, which reminds me, I am posting twice a week again for the entire month of December. I'm back to my Tuesday, Friday schedule at 12.30 PST. Unless there's issues, then it will be Wednesdays and Saturdays. But make sure your notification bell is turned on. Make sure you are subscribed and nothing funky has happened where YouTube unsubscribes you or something like that because twice a week you are gonna be getting Molly and Elton John content, a mix of festive content and totally normal non-festive content if festive things aren't your thing. But yes, I am doing a giveaway in this video and another giveaway in my next video. All of the details for the holiday giveaway will be listed in the description box down below. And here's some B-roll of what you can expect in this video's giveaway, which includes things like Bose headphones, a book written by a good friend of mine, which is incredible, called Sipping Dawn Perignon Through a Straw, my perfume that I wear every single day, and so much beauty products, skincare, fun things like that. Honestly, I feel like it's one of my best giveaways I've maybe ever done. So I hope you're all excited about that. And a few little disclaimers before I jump into sharing what I want for Christmas, what is on my blue sky dream wish list. I don't expect to get all of these things, frankly, nor would I want all of them. Getting all of my dream things at one time would feel a little overwhelming. I expect to get maybe three things max off of this list from anybody who is giving me a gift. Friends, family, my partner, my coworkers, what up, my coworkers. Coworkers sounds weird. My manager, whatever. Whoever is getting me gifts, I expect maybe to get max three of these things. This is just like, if I was to write to Santa, what would I put on it? Because I don't think I've made a Christmas wish list in my entire adult life and I'm gonna be 30 in February, which is terrifying to say out loud. Um, this is my last Christmas as a 20 something. Wow, wild. Anyways, I don't think I've made a Christmas wish list in a decade. So it was just fun to like sit and make my wish list. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you. It is a wide range of price ranges and I'm breaking it down into three categories, which I will have like listed in the description box in case only one of the categories interests you. We're doing fashion, nobody's surprised. We're doing beauty, nobody is surprised. And we're doing lifestyle. So that's what I'll be sharing in the video. Let's jump into it with our first category. So a few weeks ago, I was at the Aloe Yoga store and I found this cashmere loungewear set, which I did not know was cashmere when I tried it on. I just thought it was like a knitwear set. And it was like a hoodie and joggers, but knitwear with like a matching crop top. It was so cute. And then I looked at the price point and it was not cute. I was like, in what world? The mel like million -y, million -y millionaires are wearing this and that is it. Selena Gomez is wearing that and that's it. Okay, it was not affordable. But then it like was in my mind. I was like, hmm, the cashmere lounge set would be nice. And then I kept hearing Quince ads on the MFM podcast. And I was like, I should check it out. And they have a cashmere loungewear set. Hoodie, crop tank, sweats. They even have a hat. They have socks that all match and it's so cute. So, and like way more affordable, still not like inexpensive, but cashmere is never inexpensive. It's inexpensive for cashmere. I don't know what color I would want, but I would love that, so snuggly. Okay, next is anything from Lauren Mashi, Moshi, Mashi, one of those. They're, they sell it on Revolve, and then I think they also have their own website, but I found it on Revolve. And they have this like evil eye collection. Specifically, this set is super cute. The like, it's very me, pastel pink, joggers and sweater with like the eye and all these other symbols. And I feel like you could dress this up, I mean, within reason, but you could like dress it up or down. It would be one of those things that I would wear to an event in LA if I wanted to look cool, but I was just like crampy and had a headache and feeling exhausted, I would wear that. The next thing, I think they're called the Roxy Boots by Steve Madden. They're like 
I want the all white ones. So it's like a chunky Chelsea boot, platform, chunky heel, all white Chelsea boot. And you see a lot of like bone or like off white, but they're like pretty white. And also a lot of white boots have like a black sole or the black elastic on the Chelsea. No, these are like all white. So freaking cute, size six if anybody's wondering, okay? Also, a pair of black boots. I like these ones from Uggs. Um, my friend Mo has them, who's my makeup artist. And I was like, ooh, those are really cute. Very wearable, comfortable, and like a very different style than the typical Ugg. Big fan. We just realized my mic wasn't plugged in this whole time, so I'm just gonna discard that and we'll move forward. On the more affordable end, I have discovered my new favorite socks, which are these Ruffle Sport Socks from Free People. And I just, black and white, give me black and white, basic everyday socks, so comfortable, and the little ruffle with sneakers or something just adds a, such a cute touch. And they're just so comfy, they don't slip off my feet like so many socks do. They're cushy, I'm in love, I'm obsessed. And along that line, speaking of sneakers, we all know, okay, I've mentioned it many times, my platform yellow Converse, they betrayed me. My foot went from a size five to a size six in Converse. And so I need to replace those, but I have yet to find a color I want. So I don't even really know what I'm asking for, but that's like my dream. I need to replace those with another nice colored platform high top Converse. Speaking of color, I love sunglasses. I have a lot of them and I'll never stop collecting them. It's a blind girl essential, okay? That's what I tell myself. And a fashion lover needs choices. And I would love a pair of sunglasses that have like a chunky, hot pink frame, like fuchsia, magenta pink, but dark lenses. Not pink lenses, I want like a normal lens and then like bold pink frame or bright blue, like that blue color you guys have been seeing me wear a lot this year. Something like that would be ideal. And then I saw this recently when I was looking online for something and I was like, oof, I kind of want that. It is the Prada necklace from Relux Vintage. So it is not a Prada necklace. They basically take a vintage Prada tag like off of a vintage Prada piece and then add it to this chunky chain. It's like a chunky silver chain and then it has the triangle vintage little Prada plaque that's black and silver. Did I say gold chain? Silver chain. And then it's I don't know, I just think it would look cute with my Prada bag that has the same plaque and my little Prada loafers that have the same plaque because I wear those together all the time. And I don't know, I just think it would look really cool. And it's not inexpensive, but it's much more affordable than buying actual Prada jewelry, but it doesn't feel like it's a knockoff because the Prada plaque is still legit. I don't know, I've never heard of them before, but I think their pieces are really cool. And then just any earrings. I really wanna get a second hole on this lobe. I got this done like almost two years ago and I still just have the piercing it was pierced with. And I just, I haven't gotten new earrings in so long. I wanna update my ears. So any earrings would be nice. Ooh, I stopped filming, but one more thing I forgot. The brand Paper 8, it's not about you right now. Um, The brand Paper 8, I got this like Taylor Swift t-shirt from them, but I really also want the friends one. Next, we are moving on to the beauty section. The 4 a.m. under eye patches. I've heard a couple people mention these in gift guides and the curiosity was piqued. They're relatively affordable. I think like around 14 to $16. And I believe they're like reusable silicone under eye masks. And I just think that would be really nice. I'm stepping up my skincare game, you guys. I'm getting older, as mentioned, entering my 30s in 2024. So skincare is more essential than ever since apparently I've been losing collagen yearly since I turned 25, who knew? So that would be nice. And also on the pricier side again, like an LED red light therapy face mask because you've heard me mention a number of times that I'm not personally into injectables like filler or Botox. If you are, girl, go off, do your thing. It's just not something that I feel like doing for me, for various reasons, I'm not a huge fan of needles and also I react to everything, okay? I react to Advil. So if I put something in my face that I can't take out and I get a reaction, I don't wanna live like that. So um, I don't wanna do it, but I wanna try to help myself age as gracefully as possible. So an LED face mask would be a good option and specifically, I think I want the one from TheraBody. It's brand new and it has red light, infrared and blue and it has like a massaging feature so that would be amazing sticking with skincare 
The Fix Filler Peptide Serum is something I've been hearing a lot about on social media. It's really well priced. I think it's like $20, which for serum is a really good price, but people rave about it. Like people are like, I stopped my Botox for this. Like people are like, it is it, is it sis. And I, I need to know if it's it. I am really picky about fragrance. In the giveaway, I'm giving you guys Commodity Gold Expressive, which is one of my two daily perfumes. I only own two. It is that, which is like my cozy, warm fall winter scent. It's very vanilla heavy, so nice. And then the other one, which is both, both my scents are unisex. I like unisex fragrance. Um, and then the other scent is Le Labo Santal 33. But I recently discovered a new scent that I love, which is the Byredo G Water. It's technically called Byredo Gypsy Water, but a lot of people call it G Water because of the connotations with the word gypsy. So I will refer to it as G Water. And honestly, I smelled it because it's it's a cult classic, it's iconic, and it does, it it is gypsy water. And my first guide dog was gypsy. So I was like, oh, I hate, I'm so picky about fragrances, but like on the off chance I'll like it, I should smell it. And I smelled it and I was like, oh, it's perfect. And I say that once a year about a fragrance. So I'd like to add that to my collection someday. Next, let's talk about skincare for your feet. I don't particularly have dry feet, but I think that's in part because A, I always cover them up with slippers so they don't get like callousy because they're always like softly cushioned from the world. Um, and B, I put cream on my feet every night. Every night before bed, I put my lip mask on, hand lotion, and then I put my hand lotion on my feet. So I think it'd be kind of nice to have like an actual dedicated foot lotion just for funsies, you know? I do the hand lotion, then do the foot lotion. So it'd be kind of fun to get a foot lotion, but it's the type of thing I'd never buy for myself, which are my favorite type of things to put on a wish list. Like most of these things are just things that I would like, but can't justify buying myself because I don't need them. Other than the socks, I do need the socks. But it would be nice to get a foot cream and foot masks. I've heard they exist, and I just think it would be one of those like fun little silly wellness things to do for yourself, a little self-care evening. I, I do face masks like relatively often, but I've never done a foot mask, so it would be fun. I don't know if somebody got me that, a cute little stocking stuffer. And finally, I know I just said that I like getting things I would never buy myself, but on the absolute opposite end of the spectrum, I like getting things that I actually need, but don't want to go out and spend my money on. Like my deodorant that I use every day, which my favorite one is the Necessaire deodorant. My favorite floss and mouthwash from Hello. Uh, just like things like that, that I'm gonna use and run out of constantly. Uh, my Aveda um, shampoo and conditioner, like they're just expensive and I hate buying them. So it would just be nice if somebody gave them to me. Elton, Elton, are you listening? And then the last thing, in the beauty category would be the slick stick, which is like a thing for slicking back flyaways when you do updos, because we all know I do a lot of updos, and I'm honestly terrible with hair. I wish I was good at hair, I'm just not, and neither is Neve Burke. We're not hair people, so a slick stick would help. <laughs> and finally, let's go into the lifestyle category. The first one is the Hatch Restore 2. It's like a noise machine alarm clock, and whenever I sleep over at my boyfriend's place, he uses like white noise or rain sounds and a fan. And between those two noises, I've gotten so used to that that whenever I sleep at my place, it sounds so quiet. So I think having the hatch restore too would be really nice. And then when he stays over here, he would have that because I know he struggles when he's here. <laughs> Next is just like fidget toys, slime, putty, floam, like any, any tactile fun things that if I'm like anxious, stressed, overstimulated, understimulated, any of the things bored, I can play with and keep my hands fidgety and active and give myself some, some nice little stimulation. Along that track is a weighted stuffed animal. I just found out these exist. Weighted blankets, step to the side. I want a weighted stuffed animal. I love weighted blankets, I love stuffed animals. A weighted stuffed animal sounds delightful. Also, I don't know if this exists for adults, but my boyfriend recently got his newborn nephew this like toy that vibrates and I was like holding it against my chest and I was like, this is so relaxing. Like, do they make these for adults? Because this is calming. It was really nice. So let me know if you know. Also comment and let me know what's on your Christmas wish list. Give me your blue sky. What do you want? Give me your like, you're affordable what you want, and then your blue sky, like this is a dream that I don't expect to get. 
I want to hear all of it. An electric lighter, because I love candles and I'm always lighting them, but like a rechargeable candle would just be so nice. A little luxury. You can get them as low as like eight bucks on Amazon. So it's one of those things, it's, a, it's affordable, it's nothing fancy, good stocking stuffer. It would be cute to pair like with a candle if you were getting a candle for someone. And I just think it's one of those things that most of us would really enjoy to have but wouldn't put the time in to buy for ourselves. Bath bombs, again, something that is pretty affordable and I love bath bombs, I love anything self-care. I guess this probably could have gone in the beauty section. It doesn't matter. I always love Lush and every time I try ones that aren't from Lush, I'm disappointed. That said, I am curious to, to try the chill pill ones, mostly because I think the name is cute. Um, so I'd like to try the chill pill ones just to switch things up. I am certain I will not pronounce this correctly. Satura? Satura? It's this. I'll have it linked below. I'll link as many of these things below as possible. Um, it is a pillow on Amazon. They might sell it other places. I have it saved on my Amazon because I'm like, mm, it's saved in my like, I put it in the cart and then I changed it to the save for later because I was like, I'm buying too many things for Christmas. I can't buy this for myself right now. But it is like a memory foam pillow that has like different divots. I don't know, somebody said it's really, like a physiotherapist said it was the best pillow for back sleeping and side sleeping, different positions for your like spine and back. I don't, I'm getting older, shoulder problems, back problems, neck problems, all the problems start. And I'm trying to force myself to become a back sleeper because I've heard it's just better for you in almost every single way. And I am a side sleeper, like fetal position, hugging a Squishmallow or a jelly cat, but I want to be a back sleeper. So I'm trying to find a pillow that will force me into back sleeping. And I'm thinking maybe that's the one. And along with that, a silk pillowcase, better for your hair, better for, say it with me, skin. All about the skincare. <laughs> Which back sleeping is also better for your skin among many other things. Okay, I know this is kind of obscure, but it's another one of those things that I saw in somebody's gift guide. And I was like, oh, I would love that. Actually, Elton could get me this. He probably won't, but it would be a cute gift for him to get me, maybe for my birthday. Custom painted glass bottle with Elton painted on it. I just think that would be so cute. Um, you could put flowers in it. You could just use it empty as display. You could use it for drinking water when you have dinner parties as like a little table thing. You could put a tall stick candle in it. Here's some examples of custom painted glasses or custom painted glass bottles. I just think that's such a special, personalized, unique gift. And you could support some small businesses on like Etsy or on Instagram, which is always nice, or in the holidays especially. And another thing, decor, art, custom, special, that is, it's been on my list for a long time, um, but I just, again, I don't have the budget for it right now and I don't expect anybody to get it for me. This wish list again is just for fun. Unless you're my friends or family and you are looking for birthday gifts for my 30th or you're my boyfriend looking for a one year anniversary gift, like you can all refer back to this video a year or two from now because I probably will still have all of these things on my list still. But um, wall art, that's custom. I love my wall art, but I would love in my 30s to begin curating like custom special art for my home that is unique and just for me. Um, I would also really love to, to have a collection of tactile art as well as art made by my friends who are artists. So for example, I would love to get a piece made special for my home from my friend Paul Castle, who is a blind artist who's been featured on my channel. I would love to get a custom piece from my friend. Oh, I have his book over here. Another friend of mine who's an artist is Timothy Goodman. I would love to get a custom piece from him. Um, unfortunately, I just haven't been able to find the budget for it in my life, but in my 30s, that is on my wish list to curate an art collection for my home. Anything for a bar cart. Another thing about getting older is I wanna like get into cocktails. I'm a wine and cocktail girly, but cocktails are just like a fun celebratory drink of choice for me. And I've always dreamed of having a really fleshed out bar cart. And I did get some pieces for one last year for Christmas slash when I moved. I can't remember if they were Christmas gifts or if I just got them for myself when I was decorating my place because both collided at the same time. Like last December is when I moved into my place. So I can't remember. I don't know, you can watch what I got for Christmas from last year. I got some things, like I got a cocktail cookbook 
I guess it wouldn't be called a cookbook, a mixology book. I don't know, it was like a book of cocktail recipes. I got some um, glasses, things like that for the bar cart. So I would love to keep building out like bitters and mixers and some um, alcohol bases and things like that for a bar cart. I think that would be really fun. And finally, anything from Therabody. Again, it's one of those little luxuries that I just know that I would really love. The eye mask for when I get eye pains and headaches would be amazing. I fly a lot, so I know this is a big one, but like the chair that tips you back, to be able to have one of those would be so good for me. I just know it. Muscle aches and pains. Again, getting older, you know, the Theragun to massage you. Literally anything from Therabody, obsessed any of it would make me happy. <laughs> I, I went, they have one at the Century City Mall in Los Angeles, like a little pop-up, and I went to try the LED mask, and I tried it, and then I got distracted by all the other fun self-care things that they have and health things, and I was like, ooh, damn, who knew this was all amazing? So that is that, that is everything on my Christmas wish list slash just super wish list for the future, uh, for anything, any gift, giving needs. In my video on Tuesday, I will not only be doing another giveaway, but I will be doing another festive video to kick off the month of December by sharing what I am giving for Christmas. I'm very excited for that, so make sure that notification bell is turned on. And look, look you guys. Can they see it, Mom? Yes. It's my Snoopy it's Christmas sweater from Target. Target always has the best Christmas sweaters at like a really affordable price, which I appreciate because when it's something I'm only gonna wear for a month of the year, let it be affordable, you know what I'm saying? And I have so many other cute ones, so just wait for the next video to see the other one I have. And I'm gonna go because I feel like my brain is turning to mush, so bye. Just kidding, totally <laughs> forgot to tell you. You can click over here to watch that video with the artist friend of mine, Paul Castle, who's blind, or you can click over here to see the what I got for Christmas last year in case you want to get in the festive spirit.